Hello everyone, welcome back to our engineering uh, mechanics dynamics class. Uh, we're uh, in chapter 16, planar kinematics of a rigid body. This is our second lecture of chapter 16 and lecture 22nd of the entire course. Um, today we're going to talk about translation. Mm, um, let's talk about some uh, application. You see in the in, this is a part of the engine, the gear. They're, uh, they're rotating about an axis. Um, the each gear have a axis rotation, axis rotation of um, axis um, of rotation, and uh, there is a motion. And um, on the on the on the gear, there is all this uh, angular velocity and ex uh, acceleration. So these are the application of uh, planar kinematics. So let's see what's our learning objective today. So today we're going to talk about um, uh, we're going to develop position, velocity, and acceleration equation for uh, translation. So again, I uh, put some example here uh, in this uh, park ride. You see uh, this is rotating in this direction. Um, so what it means is that um, those. Mm, this ride uh, rotates in a circular path um, but um, they are um, remain in in in, in this uh, upright position the whole structure remains in upright position so it's a, um, um, a curvilinear translation um, another example of curvilinear translation would be uh, this um, prototype of um, steam engine the flywheel here will rotate in this direction, keep rotating, right? Um, but the flywheel itself be always in upright position, so it's a planar uh, in, in plane, so it's a translation, and uh, it's a curvilinear translation because it's rotating in a curved path. Um, so let's um, um, develop the question that we we're talking about um, so let's assume uh, we have a body in body and we have taken two points inside or, or on the body any two points so which is part of that body um, we can call it the points a and point B now um, we will have two different um, um, coordinate systems since it's a planar so we'll have only X and Y coordinate no Z coordinate system uh, Z axis so we'll have for example one our normal X and general X and Y coordinate with O axis so from this coordinate we can say the the position vector of point a is um, r a the position vector of point b is position vector r b now we're gonna have another um, um, coordinate system so which will be y prime x prime so this this coordinate system um, we is it will move with the body itself and um this um and the first coordinate system that we talked about here the x y is a fixed coordinate system that will not move um but this coordinate that we have here x prime y prime is on the with the body and it, it moves with the body so the position vector of point a and point b are defined which is r a right and rb and the position um, um, position of um, of b with respect to a so the position of point b here with respect to a is uh, defined as um, r b by a same as we learned in previous chapter so um, our position vector becomes 
position vector we know by definition rb vector rb is equals to r vector ra um, vector ra plus um, plus vector r b with respect to a so this is our position so we know once we have position we can get the velocity and the easiest way to get the velocity is the taking first derivative so v v velocity velocity so how we get velocity yeah we have to take first derivative of uh, of of the position vector with respect to time so if we take first derivative of rb so rb dt and we'll have d over r a dt plus we'll have um d over dt over r b with respect to a vector now um, when we take the derivative uh, after taking derivative we know that the if we take the derivative with respect to time of the uh, position vector it gives us the velocity of um, b it's also a vector and we know we take the derivative of r a with respect to time the position vector r a with respect to time it gives us the velocity um v a the velocity of a it is also a vector and up to this point this is same as we have un uh, studied uh, in previous lectures what is changed here is that r b a the position vector doesn't change with time so the rba here in previous study rba was changing in previous study if we take derivative of this it should give us velocity of ba right but in this transition tra translation this is uh, not right so this is will not give velocity of vba this is the only thing you have to understand here this part becomes zero zero how because this um, uh, position vector r b over a so this r b over a is with respect to axis y prime and x prime and this uh, this uh, coordinate x system x prime y prime is moving with the body so the particle position of b with respect to a this r never changes with time so if something d never changes with respect to time so the derivative meaning the small change of um, position vector b over a with, with respect to small change of time there is no change so it is zero so this gives us plus zero this is the equation so this finally gives us that um, um, vb equals to va so this is our velocity equation for translation and we have to memorize that um, that this is the difference from our vector uh, coordinate system that we have learned in previous um, lectures this is the difference so VB will be equals to VA once we have um, um, understand this part um, um, one thing to clarify the reason uh, the position vector uh, RB with respect to A so this put to position b point b and a doesn't change uh, with time because this body itself is rigid body so no matter what the body doesn't deform this entire body have we have here doesn't deform at all meaning these two points never moves at all and that's why the r b a is zero and we got the v b equals to v a so if if this part is clear then uh, let's uh, move to the next slide 
um, where we we talk about um, how to find um, acceleration. So acceleration, acceleration. So from previous slide, we 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 got the relationship V B uh, equals to V A. So you know if we take derivative, second derivative, or of the position vector or first derivative uh, of the velocity, we got acceleration. Um, acceleration. So acceleration b with respect to acceleration uh, equals to acceleration a. So this is our acceleration equation for translation. So this is also different. Um, so this equation, this equation number two, and this is the equation number one. So this two equation tells us all points in a rigid body um, it, it, it's, it's subject to either rectilinear or curvilinear translation so um, so there is no change with respect to each other so what this equation means so VB so two point any two point in the body on the body is always having same velocity any two point on the on the body is having same acceleration so these two equation um, validates the use of of um, uh, of the mo equation motion of e uh, motion of uh, equation of the motion that we have uh, developed in in chapter 12 for a particle so in chapter 12 uh, uh, we derived the equation of motion where example v square equals to u square twice a s um, v equals to u plus a d all those uh, equations that we have derived in chapter 12 this as this derivation helps us to apply these equations in planar motion because here we proved that the velocity of any two point on the body remains the same so the, though it's a two particle on a body it acts as a particle and we can apply um, apply the kinematics of the particle um, for a translating rigid body so this is um, it for today uh, in next lecture we're going to talk about uh, rotation about a fixed axis uh, till then um, see you and thank you and if you have any question, please comment below. Um, um, uh, and if you need more clarification on something, uh, also comment below and I will try to explain more. Or maybe I will come up with more examples so uh, it, it is clear to you. But um, till then, thank you.